On today's episode of John's Chores, we're going to fix some stucco. Okay, as you can see, we have a stucco hole? Crack? I don't know. This definitely looks like it was caused by something. So when we bought this house almost three years ago, in December, um, I said, oh, I will go ahead and patch this in the next summer. And then two more summers passed, and I haven't done it. So... Today is the day we fix it, because it's um, like September 26th, it's starting to get cold, and I want to get this done before it really gets cold, but uh, yeah, you can see it's not huge, but it's, you know, that one's about the size of my hand, and then I have a couple of other smaller holes, which I'll show you as we patch. Um, this is the major one I want to take care of. I'm not sure how this happened. Again, I wasn't here when it happened, but there has been some other uh, stucco patching here. So let's go uh, get the stucco patch. So I got oh. all right. So I got this um, stucco speed patch and finish. So for the instructions say for this, for every pound of uh, stucco mix, use a quarter cup of water, which is actually a lot less than I thought. So I bought a Harbor Freight bucket over there. For this this job, I have a bunch. As you can see, I have a bunch of buckets. I got Lowe's, I got Home Depot, I've got some generic bucket over there. Anyways, um, actually, I might use that generic bucket because I don't really like that bucket. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna scoop out about a pound of this. I'm just gonna guesstimate how much that is. Um, the whole box is 25 pounds, or the whole bucket is 25 pounds. So uh, go from there. All right, so let's get this bucket thing off. So this is the patch. So this is the patch. Not too bad. I want to wear gloves. So I don't know how much a pound's going to be. I'm just going to ask it. Just throw it in the bucket here. Two. Three. Four. I feel like I'm grabbing a couple ounces at a time. Maybe one more. Not quite a pound. That's how much is in there. So this is the quick dry stuff. So this stuff will dry in something like 20 minutes. Okay, so just basically throwing that in the bucket. Let's put the lid back on this. Oh, it has a nice little ring on it. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Let's put that back in. That's kind of nice. Keeps it from getting wet. Look at that. Look at that. It has an O-ring in it. It's not something you see very often. Oh yeah, there we go. Gotta shove it down in there so it'll stay. Alright, the ring's in it. Stay, stay, stay. That back on. We're gonna just take this, put it back in the garage so that I don't get it wet. So I've got some water here, I just half of what I'm drinking, and I'm gonna pour some of it in, pour it all in, and we'll mix this up by hand using my glove. The other things I got were a brush and this. Um, what do you call it? something to scrape it on there? But you can see it's getting kind of kind of goopy here. It's probably a little too thin, but you know, it is what it is. So next, let's put it on the wall. Okay. So the other thing I bought was this uh, water thing. Just 
really out of red, it sounds like I'm supposed to do this. And this is all sitting in here pretty well, so I'm not going to chisel it out. I can wet this down. This thing kind of sucks, honestly. There we go. So we're going to wet this down first. Ooh. some of this out. I should have probably added a little less water, but it is what it is. Let's take a little longer to dry. There we go. So that's it. I guess we'll uh, wait and see if it, how it looks after it dries. Uh, it might need another coat. But that's kind of what we're going for here. Just, just enough to hold. So as you can see, it's now officially patched. Looks pretty good overall. I got one little spot that I'm not thrilled with, but I might have to do that on a second coat. Um, right here, I just, just going to put it on a little thicker. There we go. And I was thinking if I can just get a little bit of a pattern. And then later on we'll paint this. It matches the color of the house. So overall, first time doing stucco. I'm pretty happy with it. I've got two more spots that I'm going to do, though I'm not going to show you those. Um, but I think you get the gist. We'll check it out here in, in a little while. And I got two little pinholes here. I'm going to try to sort of shove it in there with this. I think that'll work. And I got one more in the backyard. Alright, as we can see this one's drying. We'll still need to paint it, but it's getting there. This is the second spot that I uh, patched, waiting for it to dry. But so far, pretty happy with it. So this was must have been the previous owner. I don't know how well you can see it, but there looks like there was something here before. I'm gonna guess it was a some sort of dog door, pet door. The size it is, it's probably a doggy door. That'd be a big cat. Um, but I can't. They must have replaced the uh, sheetrock on the other side too. Um, but you can see this is basically what it would look like once it's painted. I'm hoping that they uh, they left me a bunch of paint, so I have to check to see if they left the color. That would be amazing, because that's close enough for me. But uh, that's a patch they. The, the previous owners did. Turned out okay. I mean, good enough, right? It's in the backyard, so nobody's ever going to see it anyways. So that's the front. Um, so just what you can see, like a final product. This is another area I patched. Just waiting for it to dry. And one more hole, but this one actually looks pretty close to dry. So I'm going to give everything a couple hours before I, before I totally call it a success, but... At least everything's patched now, so I shouldn't have to worry about uh, 
Shouldn't have to worry about this deteriorating anymore. So I'm not sure what caused these small holes, but. Oh, in the last area, I actually replaced this faucet, um, I don't know, a few months ago. And uh, you can see it got a little messy, but that's okay. Um, and it, I had to chip away some of the some of the uh, stucco to replace the faucet, so that's why um, I had to fix it. So hopefully this will hold up. We'll see. So of course the stucco tool, stucco mix you'll need, um, and then really you just need some water to pour into there, a bucket. Um, I use that scraper just a little bit to smooth it out, the brush to kind of give it a little bit of texture on some of them, and uh, something to spray water on. I bought this. I'm actually not that happy with that sprayer. Um, I'd probably just use a cheap um, sprayer, like a, I don't know, a lack of term, like a Windex or some sort of sprayer like that where you can just kind of pump it. Um, but those are the tools you need. It's a pretty quick job. Um, I did use a bag as well, like a lunch bag, to There was two holes that were sort of really small. They were like the size of my pinky. <laughs> and so I just kind of squirted some uh, stucco in there and then smoothed it out uh, just so it would hold up. Uh, but uh, that's it. So there you go. That's how you patch stucco, according to John, I guess. <laughs> I probably would use a little less water next time. I definitely poured too much. Lesson learned. Um, I still have a ton of mix, but nice with that O-ring. I'm just going to throw it in the shed, and if we have any more issues, I can certainly uh, use it again. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully uh, you'll subscribe, like, push the buttons you're supposed to do, and go get a chore done. Get a, stop watching YouTube and go get a chore done. Bye. All right, so today we went garage sailing, or at least this morning, for a few minutes. Um, stopped at like two, maybe three garage sales. Anytime it says tools, I go ahead and stop. Um, this was all, this was a $20 haul at two different garage sales. So I've been wanting to get one of these, like, uh, what do they call this? Uh, chain wrench. So it's nice, as you can see on the pictures here, it just kind of gets these odd, um, these odd things that that you do that you want to get to then um, I got like I don't know if this is a pry bar but that's probably what I'm going to use it as um, but again nice and thick it's pretty long and this, this has two different sides so this side looks like a punch and there's two of them one's a little shorter than the other and then on the other side has these hooks I'm not sure what they're used for but uh, then I got a ball joint um, splitter, breaker, separator, whatever you call them. Uh, I don't actually have any files, so I was happy to find this one. Then I got this guy right here. This was um, part of the haul. And this one looks bad, but the thing is you can reverse it, so hopefully I can use it. Um, so these are a little hex, and there's some screwdriver sizes too, and then it has, I guess, one spare. So I'm hoping I can flip this one around, and we'll see. And then the other thing I got, you can see this one was $5. This was actually at the other garage sale. So all that was 15 bucks that I just showed you. This was another $5, and it comes with this case that, eh, you know. And then, but it has a 12-foot chain in it, which I was really excited about. Because um, I don't have any chains. I do have a toe strap, but a chain is... Far superior, no matter what anybody says. So, um, anyways, just wanted to share my garage find, garage sale finds. And just to show you, I was able to flip it around. It does have this. I don't think this will interfere with anything, but let's see. But it's definitely not as torn up 